Hello everyone, my name is Griffin, Sweet Tea Region Recap Correspondent, Mentor of 422 Mech Tech Dragons, and Logo Chesapeake Hype Man. And today, today we're going to be an analyzing Finals 1 Match 1 of the Chesapeake District Glen Allen event. We're going to be focusing specifically on the matchup of Hyper Defense versus Triple Offense, and how specifically choosing your robots carefully in Alliance Selection and not necessarily choosing stats will be beneficial in the long run. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. So as we look at it, we have on the red side, 401 Copperhead Robotics, 384 Sparky, and 611 The Saxons. And on the blue alliance, we have 346 Robohawks, 449 Blair Robot Project, and 1086 Blue Cheese. To highlight specifically, Blue Cheese right here is a very, very hyper-aggressive defender. However, they are not able to score at this current time. And if we look over here, the blue alliance, which started off with... The Red Alliance, which started off with 401 and 384, picked up a triple offender in 611, the Saxons. So the idea of triple offense is quite actually doable because of the fact that so far in the upper bracket, they were able to put up an average of 145 unpenalized points. Now, the red, the question is, is the Red Alliance, is the Blue Alliance able to stop, slow this down enough to where they can win? Let's go ahead and see. So we start off in auto. We see a simple case of auto scoring with the Red Alliance taking a substantial lead by being able to score three up top and then have a balance and then 401 able to score two a, a second cube as well. And they specifically score it low to get a bit higher consistency on it. And they're able to, so let's pause right here. So we start off with a major lead from the Red Alliance as they've scored four pieces versus the Blue Alliance's three. So one, two, three. Now th that that's huge because not only is it three, one, two, three up high with one low, but it's also a balance versus a non-balance. Now that'll, that's definitely a lot of points in the favor of the Red Alliance. So if we continue right here, we see right here, they go. And this is where the defense should really come into play in your in anybody's case. 1086 right here is about to start defending, but they're not going to defend in a very normal typical way because it's because what you need to be focusing on is not defense of the robots but defense of the game pieces that are on the floor if it's in public space you need to claim it so as you see right here 611 611 right here is trying to pick up a game piece but 1086 is blocking it pushing the game pieces out try making sure that they can't get a game piece that is in my opinion the way to defend because you need to make sure that the opposing alliance cannot get those game pieces or else it's going to be game over. Because in general, when you're out here, even if you're on the supposed swerve defense, it's going to be harder to defend when it's such a wide open space to defend. And if you don't get them head on, like you're, you're pushing against the direction they want to, then it's going to be way harder because trying to push, say you're trying to push them at the side. They can just run this way and you do absolutely nothing. So as we continue, we see, so this is a keynote. Watch 384 right here. They come over, tip and tip over. This is a problem I am seeing with sort of modules. While they provide a great versatility in the show, they have very low surface area when contacting the floor. So if you have any sort of weight imbalance or anything that causes or causes you to shift slightly it's harder for them to recorrect because there's such a low surface area of the wheels for them to able to bounce back so as we see right here with them fully ex fully extended they just drop and as they try and retract even more they are just fully gone so now it is up to only 611 and 401 to try and outscore the 
the blue alliance. And as you notice, with 346 bursting down the low, they're already in the lead. So to, so now it's a question of whether or not the low scoring of 346 uh, can beat 401 and 611. So, uh, but right here, we're actually going to skip forward to about 90 seconds. 90 seconds left in the match. So right here, we are going to see that 1086 defense, uh, they're going to try and defend 401 right in this area right here. And let's just let's just watch and see how that goes. So this is what I talked about before. They try to defend from the side and push them. That's not going to work against a powerful sword module because it's just going to shrug it off and keep moving. Because you're you need that friction, you need that stopping force, and so they just go in, block, and they're gone. So it's completely a case of defense that completely went to waste. Now, let's skip forward to about 45 seconds left in the match. So uh, the, so far, the Red Alliance has been scoring around 384 is falling. So there is currently one, two, three I items left right here to where they, they need to complete this link right here, and, and, the, and then they have other links to fill out. So you'll see that 401 tries to score right there to complete that link. They are unable to do so because of the way that their arm is made, and they're unable to get it into a place to be able to finish out links. However, if we skip forward to about 23 seconds left in the match, we see right here 611 able to finish off said link. And that's a case, and watch right here, and boom, the link is scored. So that's a link that is a total 10 points that helps them, especially when it comes to dealing with this right here, which they're about to triple balance. This is where it comes to the idea of scout the robot. Do not scout the scores. I've seen so many people rely on stats, and it doesn't work because the robots themselves don't synergize together because they do similar stuff. So let's say you got two low scoring bots because you both score the exact same you both score a high amount of game pieces but you score them in the same location in the same way if something goes wrong you're not going to be able to you are going to be stuck with two low scoring robots and not able to be able to touch even the high stuff so it's a little bit so it's all a case of knowing exactly what your robot does and how uh, they work well with other robots So, so then we keep, keep going forward, and they're able to sc score a link right here, as well as another link right here for the mid row, giving them an ex extra amount of points that is crucial for the end game. Because, like I said, it's triple balanced versus two balanced. So that's, that's the end game right there. And if you look at, this, at what they have right here, they have one, two, three links. And then they have two right here. One right here, and one right here. And then if you look at the other side, it's completely filled bottom row, and plus one link, plus another up tier. So while it is while they did score more up high, it is a it is a bit it is more links over here, which provides a lot more points. So let's skip forward to the scoreboard. So we see right here, red wins. And what it was very close compared to their previous matches, and that's all. Be and thankful, and thanks to them, they were they were focused on finishing that link. That link definitely helped them, and it was a case of very much looking at what their robots can do and how to make it happen. Not necessarily looking at the stats they can do and uh, how those stats boost their own. It's about how their robots do it. So take. Keep this in mind in your future matches and in the online section, and you can look to go far as well. Good luck, everybody. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SolidWorks, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SolidWorks.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access.
The Charged Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, finalysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash first updates now. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash first updates now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.